Hi, I'm Shannon with AMRA. And uh, guys, we got a pretty cool video for you we're gonna do today. And I wanna say something about our past videos. Guys, when we started AMRA, we didn't have any idea how to make videos. And we had some pretty crappy music, uh, really crappy cameras, etc. And uh, we've upgraded those things over the, the years. And I think that with the new format now, it's actually, um, they're turning out pretty good. We're pretty proud of these. So. We apologize for the videos in the past, although I think the content was quite good. Uh, the editing, the music, things like that were not. So the video that we've got for you today is kind of interesting. Uh, Jerry Clements and I, Jerry's our uh, chief research officer on our board of directors with AMRA. And, um, and I went down into the canyon and we own, Don and I own a claim down uh, in an area up out of the South Motherlode and it had a tunnel site on it. We had never gone in this tunnel um, in the almost 15 years I've been mining this canyon and it was really kind of surprising. But when we went in and explored this thing, uh, it's what we found which is pretty cool. I want to caution everybody too, going into these mines is very dangerous and unless you know what you're doing, um, do not go in them. Make sure you have safety gear and things like that. So anyway, we're calling this the Coconut Skunk Mine. Um, then it's kind of cool the fact that we already own it. So anyway, let's go in the co coconut skunk mine. So this here, this here was a, uh, a cabin of some sort. I don't know if they actually were trying to trying to live right here I'm guessing it's more maybe a cleanup shack um, we'll walk over here in a second with the ad is right in the portal and the ad is right over here it's always important to check for little kitties in here we didn't bring our catnip so Got no, no eyeballs staring back here. They had it shored up, apparently. We got a lot of water up there. This is My light is dying. Already. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, came off here. that, look at your seam right above yeah. you. There's a little stringer right there. That's what they were mining right there, I guarantee it. And that looks like, is it calcite? It looks it like. That's it's cal that, that's, that's calcite, but this is quartz here. And this contact zone, guys, for you listening at home, is really what we look for, like right there. That yep. piece right there. Because see how it's got quartz in it? And it it hits the, the host rock. So as this quartz is pushing up through here, it'll start to cool. And the gold is so heavy, even carrying through the quartz, that uh, it'll carry to the edge of that contact zone and it'll solidify. And so, wow, look at that seam, Jerry. That's the primary ore body. And see, here it is up on top right there. That's what they were going after. <laughs> Samples. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we have air coming out, bro. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Feels like a fresh air in the face. That's what makes me the most nervous about these bad air. Look at that stuff. And it's got spider veins in it too. Yeah, and it's right next. Oh, there's a nice little it's ore coming. body. Look at the. Yeah, look at this. This is going this way. I can't that, see with your light right in my oh, eye sorry. socket. That's right. So you got you got the van going uh, this way, and you got spiders coming off it. So huh. yeah. that just came down recently. Little, little pocket. Yeah, that is. Oh my goodness, that's really weak. That makes sense. Oh, look it up in there. Oh wow, look at that pocket. Huh. Well, let's keep going. Yellow this. is um, 
Sulfur. Sulfur, yeah. Sulfides. Where the hell is Kirby Jackson or Jim Hutchings when you need them? You know? Yeah. Well, dude, look at this seam right here. They were real interested in this. Look at how yellow that is. There's, it's full of sulfides. Yeah. Apparently. Because it wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't turn it like that. Oh, we got a junction here, bro. They peeled off. Yeah. And that ended there. Oh, it looks safe, kind of. Holy cow. Think there's a little iron in that water? I think just a little bit. Wow, look at the colors in that. This was a bad spot. They got timber above this. No way, but it's, it's Crawlville. Well, it does open up beyond this. Yeah. A little bit. And you know what? You, this almost... That's looks, like a chalky or... It, uh, yeah, it's almost like a porphyry. Yeah. Um. Because look at this. I can break this stuff yeah. up in my hand. We can write our name. Jerry... Yeah. It's a little deceiving because um, this mineralization could have leached out after they came in, once the air got to it. Mm -hmm. And like that, like the sulfur over there was leaching out. Well, it's hard to say how mineralized this whole vein is. It's definitely got minerals in the contact zone. They're leaching out yeah. towards the surface. Well, look at this. Like, you look at this pocket somebody is punched into. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, that's you know. new too. But then you look at this, you've got all of the iron leaching out. <laughs> and you get into a pocket like this, it's got a lot of iron in it. Yeah. I would dig that out, I would crush all of that. If it continues, or is it just... <sighs> Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. I do like this spot here. This would almost be, you know, if you were going to mine this, oh, I'd, way, I'd, punch, right. I'd punch that way because it looks like you've got well, loops and dips and everything yeah, in here. Definitely a, uh, I mean, look at look at this, how this yeah. this doubled back. There's a That's a hell of a loop right there. I would take that whole thing out. And look at this right here. It does it all the way up into here. Yeah. Well, the, ma the major vein is right here, and then this is all below it. So there's, well, that that almost comes together back there. That yeah. Loop, that top loop and that vein. Pretty cool. How did a pine cone get in here, Mr. Squirrel? <laughs> so, guys, we brought some samples out of here and uh, we highly recommend that you guys go out and buy a, if you're going to sample hard rock material, load material, get yourself a loop and a good one. Um, I had a buddy of mine give me this and it's a 30 power but this will really make a difference and always look, try to look at it in the sunlight. Um, well, that's pretty cool. At least we got a nice sample out of here. So that handful of samples that Jerry had there right uh, at the end of the video is, uh, it's got quite a bit of gold in it. And the one thing that we're not sure of is how much sulfides are in it. We'll have to crush some, send that off, and uh, basically have it assayed. But um, even little samples like this, we're seeing visible gold in. So pretty cool. But uh, guys, we want to recognize somebody real quick here, and that's Pat Keen with Keen Engineering. And Pat's donated an awful lot of stuff to the cause um, in you know the fight for small mining, especially in the state of California. And uh, he sure helped us out a lot, especially recently. So um, if you guys need some mining equipment, go to, to KeenEngineering.com and uh, order your stuff from Pat. He helps you. So in turn, we'd like to help him. Anyway, I'm Shannon with AMRA. If you got an idea for a video, send us an email. 
We'll see you next time.